Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Let's enter the gate to the Apollo Sanctum. I love the music in this part of the dungeon. Oh! That's... Maybe we could just bring an umbrella or something? Or wear some shades? Oh, or that. But only Sveta can equip them. Didn't we already know that? Literally and figuratively. No pressure! Just put on the clothes and move. We'll just uh, wait for you back here. We'll cheer you from the sidelines. I don't know why it's only equipable by Beastmen. Oh, okay. We're... What do you mean, why? Ah, okay. But we only have one set of Umber gear. Well, step up more so, but yeah. Find a way to... Well, first we gotta find the Apollo lens. What is it? Just like a gigantic ma magnifying glass or what? Well, that would be difficult since I can't wear the Umber gear. No, you can't equip it. You can't equip everything in the game. Oh, Okay, I'll just act like I know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Get through it as quickly as we can. Okay, uh, yeah, from that first hit, or when we stepped up to the top of the ladder there, we took some damage there because, well, plot or whatever. But, uh, let's see. So you need to have all of the Umber gear equipped on Saveta while you're in the Apollo Sanctum. If you remove one of them, you won't be able to go onward. So if you're actually going to use Sveta, well, she'll still be really good with all the Umber gear. Yeah, so if you... Yeah, stay in the light for too long, or you remove a piece of the Umber gear or something, you'll just get automatically sent back to the start of the place, and you'll have to start all over again. But I'm not using Sveta right now. I guess the Umber gear is creating some kind of a shield that encom encompasses all of us, not just her, or something or other like that, I don't know. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we got these tables around here, and we got to insert the appropriate orb into each of them, even though that one looked more purple than blue when we first saw it, but okay. And let's see. Yeah, we'll just clear some inventory space while we're at it. It's more green than yellow to me, but okay. And, uh, by the way, you see the shadows on the pillars around here? If the gauge, or the endurance gauge, is getting too high, just hide behind one of those pillars and it'll go back down to nothing. Although, they give you more than enough time to get everything or do everything you need to do around here. Did something happen? Oh, hey! Do, 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 do. And for making it here, we get the most powerful weapon in the main storyline. The Sal Blade. Titus, is that you? Okay, so we put all the orbs in place. And not really sure what the Sal Blade had to do with that, but okay. What are those things? I don't know how to describe that. Whoa! 
What is this like a big pillar or uh Whoa! That is one big cannon you got there. How did you fit that thing in down there? Okay, so the Apollo lens is a cannon. Not really a lens or something, but okay. So yeah, you saw that door down there. That's where we need to go next here. So let's take a look. You see the saw blade is a key to many locks. And let's see, it's also really damn powerful. Only Matthew can equip it. And you also get the Megiddo Unleashed from it as well, just like the Lost Age there. So, yeah, this Saw Blade is not only good for this place, but you might recall there were some other doors that had a message much, much like that one. And so you have, if you have the Saw Blade, you can go back to those dungeons and open up those locks and you'd get, you know, super boss fights out of it and such. I'm not going to do that now, because that would be a really long backtrack just to get to Tanfan, let alone to all those other dungeons. So, I'm going to wrap up the main storyline here, and then I'll save all the super bosses for the post-game. There is one dungeon that is absolutely exclusive to post-game, even with the Sal Blade, so... I'm, I figured, hey, we might as well just wait until it's more convenient to do all that stuff. And some of those super bosses are as hard, if not harder, than the final boss of the main storyline there. So let's see, we just pound all these pillars down. I'm not really sure about the pattern. It just kind of seemed rather random to me. But I suppose that's par for the course with this game. Okay, so now we need to get into the center there and pull off all those poles on... Um, I don't know what that thing is. Some kind of a gear or something? You couldn't pull these from the outer ring there because they're on a elevated platform, so you got to get on the same level with that. I don't think you're aiming the thing in the right direction. Whoa! I got satellite dishes too? What do we got, a Cuisinart? But as we all know, in JRPGs, ancient technology is more powerful and reliable than modern technology. Absolutely! I mean, we've only had the power of alchemy back for, what, 30 years? So... Yeah, it's, well, it'll take some time for us to figure stuff out, I guess. Talk to the hand. There you go. So, are those like, I don't know, are they just going to collect all the lights that's around this place? Makes it convenient to leave the background white around here. Okay, last one, and then we can finally get out to activate the lens or cannon or whatever you want to call it. Fortunately, Apollo Sanctum is directly south of Belinsk there. So just aim straight north and take out that tower. So, is this thing all, is this thing gonna like automatically fire, or what do we gotta do? Where's the the trigger for this thing? Got to be one big trigger for that cannon. Holy cow! Well, literally, I mean, it's holy lights or whatever we got going on here. Your arm's off! No, it isn't! Oh, okay. No, never mind, then. Where'd your head go, dude? So... Ah, we're... So I guess we just charge up the thing, and then what? 
Anyone bring an instruction manual for this thing? No? Okay, never mind. What the? How did you get here? What? What's your language there, Matthew? <laughs> I like Yolio's reaction to everything we're going through. Well, yeah, you did unleash Luna Tower and all that stuff and killed a lot of people, so yeah, we'd be pretty damn displeased with you. Well, yeah, that is true. I mean, he's a fighter at that. Though, how would you know that? I mean, Alex never really spent any time with... Uh, Garrett. What the? Oh, uh... Okay. Well, first, you have the blue hair. And there's only so many people in the world like that. <laughs> I like the fire adepts. What do you mean? Oh, well, you weren't there at, what was it, Harappa? Or something like that? Where the fortune tellers were? It does? Well, I'll just take your word for it, but, uh... Yeah, in the Japanese version, I heard his name was simply Ace. Or something like that. Well, what do you mean? Oh, right. So, they could have just flown over here with their airship at any time? Why didn't they do that before, then? Why bother with us? Hmm. That's... What, are they just gonna bombard us from the air, or what? Oh, you ran out of those... What are the grapples, or... Whatever they were doing? Well, I guess he doesn't really need to kill us, or something. How? Woo! Hell no! As usual. Well, he honored the promise to release Hoju earlier. What do you mean? Well, evidently not. Well, that's because he is. Yeah, it's a little late for that. What expression? He has his face completely covered there. Or at least his mouth, or whatever. What do you mean? So, what are your orders, then? Well, why would you want us to activate the Apollo Lens? I mean, why would you activate Luna Tower only to have us solve the problem? It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Well, why not? <laughs> Ah, uh, yo, yo. Well, if we destroy Luna Tower, then... I mean, that's it, isn't it? Aren't they? They got the uniforms and everything, and... Although they didn't have the grapple. What, you mean like, uh, another element to the game? 
light and dark or something? What, you didn't have a plan for all this? I thought we were aiming towards Luna Tower. Besides, why would they destroy their own empire? Maybe they just want to take over some. Well, that would be difficult. Okay, uh, thanks, I guess? I'm not really sure what knowing that about Alex means, but, or if it has any relevance. But, uh, yeah, we, we kind of need to shoot the tower. Well, you have now! Thanks, I guess. But now, we can run into random enemies around here. So, you want to watch out for that. Namely, the Tuaparang Warriors. Let's see, these guys have equal resistance to all elements. And they give a ton of experience. Might be the most of all enemies. No, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. Let's just, uh... Yeah, hit, hit the two of them. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can stun one of them. And then... Yeah, delay the other one there. So these guys can stun you, or they could debuff your agility by 50%. Fortunately, we are already much faster than them, so we should be able to deal with them before they can get around to that stuff. Or not. Whoops. Well, let's see, the Tuaparang Warriors, they have 482 HP. So, yeah, we need a little more to finish them off there. Or at least the one that Karis was attacking there. And then you can just use whatever you want. It doesn't matter what element you're using or anything like that. So yeah, if you want to grind for, like, the super bosses or whatnot, this would be the place to do it. I think you could still leave the whole place and go do whatever you want in the middle of all this. But alright, got it. Yeah, look at that experience. Holy cow! Man, even the reserves are gaining tons of levels. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is get down to the center of the sanctum there and make a backup before we move along. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried I was going to get into like one more battle before we got to the end there after already making my backup save there. Yeah, it's... Headless! What? Whoa! What is that thing? Um, wants to... Yeah, hurt you, I guess. Whoa, a chaos hound! Oh, cow! Are you gonna bother attacking? Yeah, set it on fire! Or you could just gently smack it upside the head. That works too. Well, that was the general idea. Or, oh. I wouldn't think monsters could be sad, but okay. Dude. Does it even have any thoughts? What do you mean? I like the eyes, though. So... A 
Are we gonna kill it or what? No, I don't think so. He is. Uh, Eolio and Tyrell, the voices of reason. Ah, well, why do you say that? I don't know. Maybe we should kill it before it recovers or whatever. I don't know. You're just crazy. Whoa! What's going on? Dude? Whoa! Calm down, buddy. Uh-oh! What, you got past Alex? Oh, they must be more powerful than they look. So, what are you guys doing to him, anyway? Well, what do you mean? Dudes? I'm guard! Thanks for the warning! Well, you could try slapping him again. Oh, or that. That's. Well, what do you mean? Well, not if I have anything to say about it. Why not? That's... Oh, maybe that's why they wanted the Brave Eclipse going on or whatever. Oh, well, yeah, I was about to do that. But can we overcome their combined power, activate the Apollo Lens, and save the world from the Grave Eclipse? Find out next time on the finale of Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!